Hey everybody, Crypto Mentor 99. How you doing? It is mid-afternoon, September 24th. I've had a full day. I'm like, I got to do videos now. Um, here's one from Coindesk. Some of you may not even remember this because this was back from... I think the ICO for Kin was like 2017, maybe. Anyhow, Kick messaging app to shut down following its SEC lawsuit that they had against their ICO. Following reports, its crypto focused sub subsidiary Kin had laid off 70 employees. Kick Interactive CEO, remember Ted Livingston, younger guy, real smart, announced Monday that Kick will also be shutting down its core messaging service. Let me stop. So I bought, it was, well, first of all, during the ICO, it was super cheap. And this guy saw the opportunity. And this guy put some money down and this guy had a problem with, well, not a problem. Um, the, my ether wallet story, all of my tokens were stolen or not stolen. I gave up my, uh, in the early days when I didn't know what I was doing, I gave someone, it was a, I fell prey to a phishing scam that I thought my ether wallet sent me an inquiry and um, yeah, I accidentally sent my private keys. Well, they said, click on this link, try to sign on. And like three months later, I checked my account and these tokens were gone as well as like five or six others. So that was an expensive learning experience. Back to the article. I had a lot of them, man. Um, speaking with Coindesk, and in a company blog post, Ted Livingston said the ongoing dispute with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission has forced them to shut its doors. This is a direct impact from the SEC legal action, said Ted Livingston. In addition to shutting down the app, Livingston said the company would shrink its crypto operations to just 19 core developers in an effort to ensure that KIN, K-I-N, can scale to become the true currency of the internet moving forward. KIN had over 2 million monthly active earners with 600,000 monthly active spenders. While losing KIC will have a great impact on those numbers, the continued growth of the KIN ecosystem has made up more than that. Anyhow, um, boy, again, I've only been in the crypto space late 2016, early 2017. I've had, I think, five ICOs uh, that have um, shut down its doors. Technically, I, well, before my tokens got s stolen, so this, this would be the uh, sixth or the seventh. But yeah, Ted, um, yeah, I'm gonna say he's mid to late 30s. And uh, again, they went up against the SEC and kind of got shut, not kind of got shut down, got shut down. Anyhow, the link will be in the description box below. Let me know what you think. Who owned any of this? Was I the only one? Uh, this guy wants to know. Love y'all, and thanks for being a part of my crypto family. You know I love you. See you later. Bye-bye.